Hello there, welcome back to Lemon Lane Cottage. Today we are talking about mint. We are talking about planting mint and growing mint and propagating mint and using mint. I um, have an actual bed that I've dedicated to growing mint. And this is a new bed for me. Normally I grow it in pots and I still have it in a lot of pots, but I have an area that is part shade, part sun, um, that gets a lot of weeds. And it happens to be an area, and I'll show you this, that is surrounded by concrete. So it is one designated planter that grows nothing else but this boxwood hedge and weeds, basically. So I want to suppress those weeds, and I think mint is the perfect way to do it. Mint is actually a gateway herb into using herbs medicinally. At least it has been for me. So my hope is that mint will become the same to you. A way to start using herbs, using plants that you grow medicinally. Because you know how I feel about this. Anything that we can do at home, anything that we do not reach for something from the drugstore to help with headaches, to help with nausea, and all of those things that herbs can do, I want us to do that. I want for us to learn to take care of these bodies we've been blessed with as best as possible at home. Always knowing we can go to the doctor if we can't take care of it first. So, that being said, I am not an herbalist. I am not a doctor. I just wanna share with you what I'm learning. It may work for you, it may not. Always check with your doctor. I'm not advising you to stop taking any of the medications that you're already taking. But if you reach for Advil or Tylenol or Tums or something like that, that um, helps to relieve some of the more common ailments that we have, I'm asking you um, to give mint a try, to give herbs a try. And I will be sharing different herbs with you as I learn, I'll be sharing it with you. So that is all the chit chat for today. I would love to know from you if you use herbs um, medicinally and what is your favorite? What is something that maybe you have been able to stop using something from the pharmacy or from the drugstore and just take care of it yourself? So I'm gonna go ahead and get this garden weeded. I'm gonna plant this scrumptious apple mint and then I will take a few clippings and show you how I propagate mint and how you can take one mint plant and fill an entire bed if you want or maybe give it as gifts. So what better way to share what you learn than to give the gift of an herb. So with that, I'm gonna to get to work. I will be back to share a little bit more and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. As always, thanks for stopping by. My mint garden is actually right in the center of this newly started boxwood hedge and under great myrtle tree. So it gets morning sun and afternoon shade, which is really ideal for mint and mint family. You can see not only do I have mint in here, but I also have lemon balm. So first order of the day today is to weed and take all the suckers out. And then to trim down what I have and to plant in some holes. Not my favorite part, but necessary. And once it's filled in, that's the thing with mint, once it's filled in, it will choke the weeds out. And it's contained completely um, by cement. So I'm not worried about it getting into any other planters, anything like that. So let me get this cleaned out and I'll show you what it looks like um, and what I do with some of the excess I'm gonna trim off. So I cleaned up the boxwoods hedge, boxwood hedge, and weeded. So that kind of tells me where I need to trim, where I need to add, and gives me a better idea of what's going on in here. I'm really actually 
thinking it looks better than I thought it would. So I'm going to go ahead and trim some of these longer ones, put them in water, um, use them in a couple different ways. I'll share that with you. And then I'm going to plug in some that I've already been rooting. We're just going to keep working at it. Gardening's all about patience. I clipped this mint about a week ago and I just stuck them in, an, in a jar, make sure that the water um, stayed full. And I'm about to transplant them into my herb garden. I just wanted to show you the roots. You could actually um, stick mint um, directly in, even without rooting it first but it's so easy just to pick it, stick it in the water, and it takes no time at all to develop a root system. So I'm going to go ahead and plug these in in the holes that I showed you in the mint bed. This is just regular peppermint. When I transplant the mint, to see the roots, I will whoop, take the top off so that only a couple of leaves there we go so that only a couple of the leaves are left exposed I'll just clip the other ones off so that all of the nutrients all of the effort can go into producing roots and not trying to keep those top leaves alive okay, you can see I went ahead and clipped some mint to start more cuttings but I wanted to show you real quick exactly where I clip it from I will just go down until I come to one that has a couple do you see those little tiny leaves right here I'll clip just above that and those will branch out and make this plant bushier and I have myself some new mint that easy. I did the same thing here with the bee ball. So just a real quick after here, I trimmed down the hedge here. So the boxwood hedge we just put in and it is just um, just filling in. But I went ahead and um, Trimmed it just to kind of clean up the whole planter. Doesn't it look better? When you propagate mint or really any herb or flower, it's going to go through a time where it is not looking so hot. It'll droop. Be patient. In a couple of days, those roots will start growing, start taking in nutrients, and before you know it, you will have actual mint plants. The same thing happens if you were to do it in pots to give as gifts or maybe just to make more mint for yourself. It may not look wonderful to start with, but before you know it, you'll have more mint than you know what to do with. One of the other things that is so fun about mint are the different flavors and scents that mint comes in now. I don't think it always has, has. I think that it's propagated this way, but I have yet to go in pots. Apple mint, which smells like a green apple. It smells wonderful. This one you can see is ready to be clipped and propagated and that is the thing if you keep mint in pots which is probably advisable and also necessary if you're going to have more than one kind of mint because if my original plan was to put all the mint in the mint garden but when you put them in the ground they mix um, flavoring scents and it kind of muddles it so you don't get a true 
apple mint and a true spearmint you get more um, of a muddled kind of effect I mean it would do the job as far as covering and it would still smell good but you lose what they were um, propagated for so this one is an apple mint this one here is a chocolate mint and I can't wait to put this maybe like in coffee or in hot chocolate I think that would add just a wonderful flavor I think this would be really yummy in a mixed cocktail maybe and then this one I just got and it is actually strawberry mint it tastes like strawberry mint wood and it smells like strawberry mint should so that one is wonderful just in water just in ice water to give it a refreshing taste and then I have a couple of things of spearmint and also one of the benefits of mint is it is a, an awesome greenery for flower arrangements and it will last longer than the flowers will so this one is just very very simple I just let me pull it in the shade here I just use the mint I put all the mint in first kind of like a giant poof ball and then I just added these sweet Shasta daisies and I think it is the sweetest springtime summer arrangement so that is that is my story about mint I'm gonna be adding to it I'm gonna find some cute pots and I think that I probably will just keep them possibly just on this bench here in the um, barnyard garden here in my little homestead I use mint when my stomach is upset and I will either use it in a tea in which case I will use dried mint which is very simple just um, set it out someplace with good flow airflow out of direct sunlight if you don't have a dehydrator it will dry within a couple of days um, and then just put it away and pull it out so I will make myself a mint tea maybe put a little ginger in there seems to help my stomach or I will use um, an essential oil digest sin which has mint in it um, and it really does help to settle any kind of heartburn or stomach issues um, so that is my main main use for mint but I will be sharing more as I get more and once these are potted up I hope this was helpful um, I hope it was interesting to you the nice thing about mint is that it be grown in a small amount of space in fact you're probably smart to grow it in a small amount of space and not only does it look beautiful and smell wonderful but it does all kinds of wonderful things for your body so that is all that I have for you today I hope you enjoyed our little trip into the world of mint I will uh, be taking different herbs and sharing them with you if there is any herb that you would like me to cover, to share with you, if I have it growing, I would be happy to do that. That is all that I have for you today. I thank you for joining me. I thank you for subscribing. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you in the next video.